Hey brothers and sisters, how you doing? Uh, please pray for me because I went about seven days without smoking cigarettes and then I fell back into it again. So um, I'm going to I'm going to try again and keep on trying and and I'm going to overcome. I'm going to make good, better decisions and stop doing things that I know my father wouldn't approve of but please pray for me so <clears throat> okay so it says when that day comes you need feel no shame for all the misdeeds you have committed against me for i will remove your proud boasters from your midst and you will cease to strut on my holy mountain in your midst i will leave a humble and lowly people so you guys when he gathers us together and i've known about this through other scriptures too you guys he yahushua jesus christ is not going to stay there with us you guys Nowhere in the Bible does it say that when, when it says that in the, in the rapture that he will be with us forever. You guys, he's talking about giving us part of him in his spirit even more so than the spirit that we have now. And, um, and that will always be with us. He'll always have a connection with us. He's not going to dwell with us, you guys, like as in... As in you can just go see him in on his throne. Like in heavenly places, some of us are already there. But that physical part is not going to happen until after the millennial reign, you guys. Because people, we have to prepare away from him, for him. And we have to prepare our vessels in truth, you know. Um, so... You guys, this is, um, I notice, okay, so even though, you know, I am a child of God and, you know, I, I always have my sin in my mind and I'm always trying to fight against it, um, and striving to live a holy life. You know, like if I go back on some of my videos, I can see like if I was doing a live stream, like I would look kind of like proud and haughty, you know, or because I knew maybe the camera was on me and people were in the chat room. And so these are things, you guys, that are woven into us from sin. You know, that's just what we're born into. So we use Christ, the power of Christ to recognize that stuff, the scriptures to recognize those things and to use the power of Christ to eliminate that out of our out of our being through prayer, living a holy life, prayer, living a holy life, you know, but you you guys these things have to be brought up to recognize them because in order to fight the enemy, you have to recognize the enemy and then you have to eliminate the enemy. Okay, you can't if you're not even willing to say like, oh, I have this problem or, oh, that was kind of prideful and how I was behaving. Um, you can't eliminate it because you don't even recognize that it's a problem. It's like having a robber in your house and he's robbing stuff. And and maybe your daughter comes up to you and goes, hey, dad, there's somebody stealing uh, all of mommy's jewelry but you don't recognize him as a robber you're just like ah oh, whatever you know like uh he's always been here you know but li he's literally stealing jewelry from your wife's jewelry drawer you know you got to recognize that there's a robber first <laughs> to be able to eliminate it but people when you bring that up to them or help you know help because i look at when people bring these things up as oh they're helping me because they're helping identify something that's bad in my life so i can use the power of christ to eliminate it but people get so offended when you do it and that's 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 pride too and that's not good those are people who have in the spirit the the spirit of offense it talks about them in the scriptures but even in god's you know even in a lot of god's people you guys there's still i can i can see it i see it in people the way they act if they're on camera or a live stream or if or if somebody tells them 
if they're on the right path and they're really on fire for the Lord, they'll kind of get proud and haughty. I'm guilty of this, you know. I'm I'm not trying to like point the finger at any person. I'm saying this for myself too. And so this is where the Lord is saying, I'm going to remove that stuff. When I gather you together and and I'm we are going to be in the presence of the Lord, but he's going to rid us of that. He's it says in Ezekiel, he's going to put sprinkle us with clean water and he's going to get rid of those things in us, which is disgusting sin. Right. So I will leave in in your midst. I will leave a humble and lowly people and those who are left in Israel will seek refuge in the name of Yahweh. They will do no wrong, will tell no lies, and the perjured tongue will no longer be found in their mouths. But they will be able to graze and rest with no one to disturb them. <laughs> Hallelujah. I can't I cannot wait for that. You guys, I'm so excited. Um and by the way, you guys, I want to let you know the only the reason that I did fall back into s cigarette smoking is I've been going through so many physical pains that my body is getting stressed out from it, you know, because I don't I'm not taking pharmaceuticals, you know, like I'm not going to like smoke marijuana to take away my pain to make me happy. I'm going to rely on the power of Christ. But I didn't. I fell and I I broke under the pressure and instead of calling on the name of the Lord and saying God send me an angel of peace I went to cigarette I went to the hordes of Egypt right and so I'm recognizing these things and going to eliminate them from my life anyway I love you guys God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ I love you guys so much God bless